looking for a great way to spend time with your little one on a bike, look no further than the Bell Shell Rear Child Carrier. Designed for kids ages one through four, the Shell offers a secure and convenient way to carry kids up to 40 pounds in weight. It features a comfortable padded foam seat, ventilated rear back to keep your child cool, movable footbeds, and an adjustable three-point harness provide a secure custom fit and allow the product to grow with your child. Installation is quick and easy. Simply attach the provided mount to the frame. Next, attach the seat to the suspension rack and clip the rack into the mount. You can adjust the seat by sliding it forward or back on the rails and then securing the locking pin. Properly secure the foot straps and shoulder straps. And always make sure your child is wearing a properly fitted helmet. The bell shell is easy to remove when you want to go for a solo ride. Just pull the security slide up and pull the release latch. It's that easy. With the bell shell child carrier, there's bound to be adventure for you and your tyke around every corner. Hi, this is our review for the front baby seat carrier with handrail and helmet sold by a cycling deal on Amazon.com. It was one of the cheapest we could find, so price point was a big factor in our purchase. It comes with seat, helmet, handrail, and all the mounting accessories. Okay, the seat itself is pretty nice. It's very light. It's rated to hold up to 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. The footrests adjust easily and has straps to hold your child's feet in. It just pops out right here and slide it back in, pop it back in. Okay. It has a seat cushion to protect from the bolts under here. The main buckle is nice. With positive engagement it's easy to Push in this button and unlock it. Lock it. Okay. Upper strap should have been a quick release, but again, price point. So to get it on and off, you have to actually take it off like this. At the top here, I feel like there should have been two holes for the shoulder straps, but there's only one, so this may cause rubbing against the back of your child's neck. The helmet, it's, the helmet is pretty nice. Um, it has an adjusting knob at the back to, for the fitment and then it has these straps and I like that the the strap underneath the chin has a guard to protect your child from the from the clip. This is the mounting hardware. Um, it has, it's pretty beefy. It's nice, uh, pretty solid, sturdy. Uh, the plastic part is pretty solid too. It's got big, big bolts. Um, it has a locking at the bottom to hold the, hold the two pieces together so you can slip it out uh, when you mount this section to the bike. Uh, you would just slide it back in, lock it. It has a pin and a hole on the front. This section comes with the Allen wrench and three shims to for uh, different sized um, uh, C tubes. This is your child's handlebar. Um, when you get it, you'll afterwards when you're mounting it, you'll need to flip this this section, this uh, plastic 
spacer upside down the other way. This is mounting your child's handbar, so you just put this in. Put in the screws. There's uh, the square uh, square attachments here. On the back you have to flip it over to get underneath and you have to get this spacer and there's a notch that will align with the notch in here so you just slip it in put on the washer and the nut these are 10 millimeter nuts or you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench or socket wrench to tighten them down okay just like that okay so you'll need to take these two apart to slip them into the seat okay so take that off um, take take off the bottom section from the seat and you can see that I installed this previously before I did this review and there is minor stress cracks in the um, in the plastic so don't tighten down these bolts too much you'll slip in these into here like, like that okay and then this this section will go on here like that then you put your bolts and like I said don't tighten them down too much it doesn't have any torque specs, but just... Okay, so installing the system onto your bike. Okay, so take out the shims, and then remove the bolts. Make sure that you have the, the lock on the bottom, so the locking side on the bottom. just put the shims on you just open them up open them up like that okay. okay so making sure the lock is on the bottom just press it on okay, okay so those fly out so make sure that Helmet first. Take two, put on the helmet. Press this here. Okay. Okay. Is that, okay? Is that good? Okay. Okay, putting your baby into the bicycle. Hold your front wheel with your two legs.